What's happening, La Familia? Just real quick, man, we need to touch on this man, YG, and Tiger, man. Because, man, this man, YG, just dropped his new song featuring Tiger called Run. And in this song, they did a spinoff of the white chicks robbing banks and whatnot, putting on these female masks, makeup, body suits, and just, you know, overall promoting that agenda that the industry has been trying to promote on us. And I don't care what way they try to put it in, acting like they masked up like females, you know, to go hit a lick, man. That That's just a way to try to make this seep into your minds, man. What these men have going on here, there is no place for it whatsoever. First off, the scriptures say that a man who dress in women's garments is an abomination. So this is an abomination. This is cross-dressing. This is drag queen type of energy. That's all it is, man. But they try to dress it up as them being bank robbers or something, you know, street or whatever. No, YG, he is a gangbanger. He need to go to board. And look at this, man. This is the bathtub ritual, man, that they do to all artists. Tupac went through it most famously and multiple other notable artists, man. Now, what he's doing here, though, is he's giving up her soul. What this bathtub ritual means is you're giving up submission over to the darker side, over to the deceiver. Look at these multiple different artists who have done it. It is also a way to mock the sacrifice of our savior. That's what they're doing here, man. Look at Jock Keys. And look here, even if they don't have money and jewelry in the bathtub with them, even if they just taking a regular bath, they take a picture of it and all that, that's paying allegiance to the ritual. That's a ritual, that's all it is. There go Bruce Jenner and the other Jenner they mom. Then you got Tupac doing it once again, man. He loved that stuff. He paid a lot of submission. Justin Bieber, of course he had to be in there. And then you got Tyrese, man, showing who he is and showing what he about. They all do this, man. No matter what level of celebrity they are, they have to pay their allegiance if they want to continue to grow and move up. And look at it, man. Even if it's beautiful like this, I know Mariah Carey, man, she looking gorgeous in that bathtub. But she's still worshiping those fallen angels. Look at this man in coagulated blood, man. Eminem's career has been disgusting and disturbing, man. But I save the best one for last because this is finna mess y'all up. Dun, dun, dun. We got that man FBG Duck. Y'all see him right there, man. And he throwing up that 666, that 36. Letting it be known that he is paying his allegiance as well. Just casually cooling in the bathtub, robe on, doing what he do. Come to think about it, it makes sense now why he would be privy to that information about King Von finna be a sacrifice. Dirk gonna sacrifice him. It shows why he was privy to that information. He's a part of it as well. But man, I'm telling y'all, that's what these men are about. That's what they got going on. Tiger and YG need to be held accountable for this, man. Hey, all the paw rules and bloods out in Cali. All of y'all from L.A., take that man to board. He need to go to court right now, ASAP. This is not okay. Hold them accountable for this. Y'all need to allow them to know that there is no place in this world for this, man. If you say you are a real street dude, you are a real one in all this, and you get on TV and put on women's clothing, you put on makeup, you put on any of the fake stuff, you try to act like a woman and do all that, you need to be held accountable. This is not funny, man. They've been pushing this into y'all heads for so long that y'all start to think, that oh, that's just comedy. That's just comedy. No, it's not. It's very sinister. It has a very, very dark, deep meaning. And y'all just let it go. Y'all just let it bypass as if it's nothing. I showed y'all that the Most High called them an abomination. If you indulge in this act, you are an abomination. And that's the reason that the world says it's okay. It's okay to the world because there are already abominations. You need to understand that the scriptures said that there were people that are already prepared for the slaughter. So that means from birth, there are people already prepared to be slaughtered. They are already prepared to go to the lake of fire. Y'all know what I mean by that. The bottomless pit, Hades, whatever you want to call it. There are people that are going to go there from birth. So that means children that are already destined for that. And the people that we consider that to be would be the elites, the ones who rule the world. 
but there's also people at the bottom who are going as well because they are a part of that. They pay their allegiance to that. They love this lifestyle. They fight for it and offend this world. They go, they're going to offend this world. They are not going to let you say nothing bad about any of their gods. I made a video the other day about Lil TJ and what I seen, the foreshadowing and just uh, what they posted all down Google. They do that strategically, man, so the numbers can match. But I posted that and I got a lot of backlash from the younger crowd. They said, oh, clown, goofy, all this. You know, that man, Uti Uti Man, just worshiping these men that they don't even know. They don't even realize that that's what they're doing because they're so far past lost. They're quick to worship these men instead of understanding that these men hate you because they are trying to sell away your soul for their own personal gain, their own profit. At this point, they don't have a choice because they already made a pact. But in the beginning, that was the goal, you know what I'm saying? Whether or not they're still alive, that's debatable, you know? We know that they got cloning facilities and all different type of stuff. Stop acting so ignorant to what's going on. Stop overlooking the things that you see these celebrities doing. When they do something sinister, you hold them accountable. And that's just what it is, man. We not, no, we don't worship nobody, ever. And even if you look at the numbers and when this video dropped, it's called Run. It dropped yesterday, which was June 23rd. If you look at the numbers, June is a six. 23, two times three is a six. 2022, that's a six. So you get the three sixes, number of men. Not that uh, six electrons, six protons, six neutrons, BS they try to give you. No, it's all ritualistic. It's all symbolic and it all represents something. They understand not only is it just paying allegiance to their God, but they understand that the algorithms that are set up are set up to display certain numbers, certain codes. These algorithms scan through your video. They look for certain codes, certain things, and they will promote that. Not to mention the fact that it creates controversy. It creates a topic to talk about. And in return, people are coming to view your video which makes that video go viral. But if we gonna critique it, we need to critique it in a positive light. That way, the younger generation understands what it is that they are viewing. See, that Lil Nas X video got critiqued in so many different ways that it became a symbol of freedom for a certain crowd of people. Disgusting and disturbing, right? I mean, what day and age are we living in? We living in a day and age that scripture talked about, right? When it said woe to the ones that call good evil and evil good. What are we doing here, man? We got to really get it together, man, because these kids are coming up in so much negativity and propaganda that there's no way for them to shake it unless we as parents, unless we as the adults start to identify the sinisterness within the media. It's time we teach our kids the truth stop telling them about santa claus because santa claus is evil stop telling them about the easter bunny that's evil stop following their holidays that's evil if it's something you're involved in and you do not know the origins of it you don't know where it came from you don't know where it's going on with it stop following it don't have nothing to do with it because nine times out of ten it is evil just do away with it as a whole. Stop teaching our kids this indoctrination. It has to end. It has to end. And I know we was not privy to the information growing up that we have access to now. But that's the reason why you learn to do better. It's better late than never. And the time is now to change this narrative. It's time to stop allowing the ones who want to corrupt our generations to be the ones to lead our generations. How does that even work? How is it that we know all of this stuff about Martin Luther King in 2022, but he's still looked at as a symbol of peace? He's still looked at as a leader of the black community. How is that? Where did we go wrong? 
Where did we go wrong? I'll tell y'all where we went wrong. Allowing the television to dictate the narrative and give us our history. Give us our leaders. Tell us who's great and who's not. That's what we allow the television to do. And we got to take back the grasp on our own community. Otherwise, we're going to continue to plummet deeper and darker. We got to stop allowing this. That's just, just as simple as that. They're giving us these prophets now. The like Tigers and YGs of the world. That's the new prophets. We already know Tiger been exposed for messing with boys. That was years ago. But he still looked at as a celebrity. Had a whole comeback year where they argued with him and Soldier Boy about who's the biggest comeback. Who cares? Who cares? Because at the end of the day, what's important and what's most vital is our people being prosperous. Our people achieving what it is that the Most High said that we were set out to achieve. We are the people of them scriptures, so we know that we are destined for something great. And all of this distraction that's put upon us is doing nothing but holding us back. We got to stop allowing that. You know what I'm saying? Start teaching your kids the truth, man. Start teaching them that this is not acceptable. You do not put on a woman's clothing. It is not acceptable. Under no circumstances.